Azima needs an aqueduct. I shall present plans to the council. Triss Merigold is the most beautiful woman in the world. Rumor says that King Radovid will negotiate with Faltas. Just listen. Don't disturb. Be nice. Why did they all come if they dislike Luvarden? Luvarden has excellent taste. Would you be so kind and fetch me some pâté? Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on. This isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Lord Levarden's Feast. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome! Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. I'm busy now. Luvarden has excellent taste. That cheating dwarf is here. Or a Danian spy, a witch, and a mutant. Disgraceful! Milady, allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other, do we not, Witcher? One could say so, Princess. A princess indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet, I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. I see you still wear the gemstone with the inclusion. The curse. Shut your filthy mouth, mutant. But the curse may yet. Enough! Your Highness, allow me to cast this drifter out. We no longer desire to speak with you. Step away. You shall be summoned when I need you. Get out of my sight, freak. The minx didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'd be careful. I have the distinct impression she's got her eye on you. Nothing I can't handle. Something nasty lurks behind that innocent face. I'll keep that in mind. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Bellarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgermeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. You've met everyone who's anyone. 
I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask. Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prison. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. Uh, must go. Later. Enjoying yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic. Someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I've the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade, there will be no room for your neutrality. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Who exactly is DeWitt, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dicks too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Is Luvarden somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your 
Friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Louvarden, we know he had some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoyatel? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Marigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Excuse me for a moment. We'll talk later. Excuse me, Geralt. I must speak with Lovarden. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? The similarities are evident. Allow me one jest, Witcher. Very well. A countess said to a count. Shall I have dinner served? What a waste. Perhaps we might go for a walk. What a waste. May I ask a riddle then? Very well. What is warm, hairy, and dives into holes? A cock. Not at all. A mouse? A mouse in a cunt? What a waste! <laughs> I am impressed by the comparison. Have you ever tried your hand at the fine arts, Your Highness? I am forced to study all kinds of nonsense, but books bore me, as does poetry for the most part. I agree. Books are for bores. Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, Politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Louvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Highness, sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. You may be right, Your Highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. <laughs> may I ask you a question? Go on. What is the King's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question, if you bring me what I most desire. I shall return shortly, Your Highness. I'm listening. What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. Throat's dry. Relax, Burgermeister. The party's just beginning. I'm listening. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but... Uh... I see. Anything else? 
Tal is angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents <laughs> scour the realm to fetch her treats. <laughs> Thanks. Give me a minute. I need to get a bite. Geralt. Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents, people of the shadows. Calm down. What's the dish? Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. Be discreet. But? Then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. Why are you here? Huh? I, I was looking for the privy. In that box? Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. This is none of your business. Get lost. How dare you? Do you know who I am? I don't. But I do know this cut that leaves the victim with one ear, one cheek, and half a jaw. People survive it, but playing the flute is just one of the things they can't do. Um, uh, I'd best be going. How'd it go? Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Cataplepus. What? Some time ago, this maniac, who looked a lot like you, arrived in Visima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepus meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepus throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good haul. How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepus, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Do you have something tasty for me? I need more time, Your Highness. Be swift. My patience is limited. Geralt. Ah, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some cataplepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself.
curse is undrunk. He speaks. I broke my vow. I swore on a heron. A heron? Nonsense. Tala hired me to come incognito to the feast. You blew it. No scene, please. This ring will get you in the house of the night. Half price. Get out of my sight, Fick. Catoblep is steak, rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. Do you have something tasty for me? Steak tartare of Catoblepus. Raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. It is an honor to serve you, Your Highness. I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics. <laughs> Not so hasty. <laughs> I'll be with you shortly. Give us a moment, please. I'm busy now. Why did they all come if they dislike Louvard? I have had enough of business and politics. Finally. Politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. Your Highness promised me an answer. What are you waiting for? Undress! Your Highness. I shall answer in due course. But first, I must know if those legends about your sword are true. As you command. I should think so. expected as much. Shame. Our meeting could have been more pleasant. Yet I always keep my word. King Faltest, my beloved father, treats me like a child, and children dare not dabble in politics. Soon he will see how blind he was. That is all. You may go. Your Highness. Be gone. I wish to be alone. Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer, one I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. Not finding this party dull? Anything more interesting in mind? <sighs> At home, Geralt. At home. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful. It's as we've heard. All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamander. 
Our spies say there's a new salamander camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. The swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. Witcher. I placed the sensors as you asked. I know. As soon as you did, I scanned all of Vizima and found the source of the anomaly. Where? A boy named Alvin at St. Lebiota's Hospital. How can a child be the source? You've forgotten everything. He must have immense powers. Elder blood must course through his veins. Elder blood? The gift of Lara. We need to rein in Alvin's destructive abilities. Hurry, fetch him from the hospital. I'll see what I can do. Will they let me take him? Not readily. Your friend Shani refuses to hand him over. She has no idea what the entire city faces if he spins out of control. I don't know how to talk to her. She's your friend. Settle it with her. I'd be grateful. One more thing. Elder blood attracts creatures from the beyond. Ghosts and specters. You might find this scroll useful. Witcher, reveal yourself as an honest man or a coward. What do you want, DeWitt? That scoundrel Taller. He refuses to abide by a royal edict. What edict? The royal edict bearing the very seal of our merciful ruler, Foltest, that strips him of his position. By the authority vested in me, etc., etc., Taller is hereby dismissed from his position as head of the Temerian Intelligence Service. And Taller objects? You're kidding. Yes. Show yourself a real patriot. Kill that pleb. Damn lies. The edict is a fake. This dickless, brainless, sellout zealot burns to see me eliminated. Silence, lice-ridden scab. You will hang, traitor. Geralt, bring me that pleb. He needn't be in one piece. I'll hear both sides. You will not get away with it! Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Taller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? How dare you accuse me, mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Foltest's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, DeWet. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never! You won't take me alive, you bastards! Keep your hands off him. You'll regret this. You'll all regret it. Quiet, priest! Non possumus! Thanks for your help, Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea, but I must speak with you. Later. I need to do something. Fine. Meet me at the new Narracord.
Eternal fire, fill my heart! What is it, Witcher? Who exactly are you? I'm a Count. If you've not heard the name Dewet, you must be a simpleton. Interested in anything besides politics? Impertinent question, but I'll answer. I enjoy poker as a mental exercise. I know that game. So I've heard. We could play sometime. I'll consider it. You'll find me here. Recruits. Meet again, Witcher. Worked out that way, I guess. I suppose I should thank you for saving my ass. I'm still not sure it was smart to tangle with Dewet. Of course it was, provided you have Temeria's well-being at heart. What do you mean? There's something afoot. You forget I'm a simple Witcher. It's like this. Before the King departed, he placed Vizima in my care. See? Seems authentic. During my absence, I entrust you with... I know you can read, Witcher, but notice both the King's seal and his signature. I see. That isn't on the other edicts. A seal can be stolen, but a signature is difficult to forge. So the royal edicts are fakes? Exactly. Damn! Oh, shit! Impossible! Having problems, Witcher? Actually, yes. Sadly, my code of conduct forbids me from using my position for private benefit. So you refuse to help? Wait a minute. What code? Not your business, Witcher. You're most welcome. Greetings. Can I help you? I need rest. Got a room? Yes, five orins.
turn old Vizina yeah. into a hospice for disease. Why? He doesn't need to kill everyone for revenge. Why? He lost his mind. Master Richard! What, boy? The bank's been robbed! Master Velorad said we should fetch a Witcher! What's going on? Follow me, Master Geralt! Quickly! And what's that? My brother's inside. Why attack the town hall? Freedom fighters! The knights should nonsense. slay those non-human... Situations under control. Situ Situations under control. The Scoyatel are robbing the bank! What's happening? Armed robbers have taken over the bank and are holding hostages. Siegfried's leading the assault. Always the hero. Geralt, they need support. Fine, I'll help. Good luck. Could use it. My family's treasures are in that bank. I heard they're planning to negotiate. I heard they're planning to negotiate. Mark the archers. Witcher? I've come to pull you out. What, right? Valorad sent me. That makes us allies. Got a plan? We'll try another entrance. Let's do it. Pull back! Pull back! We'll go through the back of the town hall. Let's go. In. Onward! Is it true you wish to negotiate, Duan? 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 Who is this Duan they're incessantly going on about? It means human, Siegfried. Yes, we're here to negotiate. With terrorists? Never! Blood a Duan. We're not here to fight, Siegfried. Why else? To be ambushed and killed? This can be settled without anyone else getting harmed. If you must speak with terrorists, do it alone. So be it. I shall remember this Witcher. The eternal fire lights my way. When will this end? What are you doing here? I'm here to negotiate. I'm no good at negotiating. Meaning? Yavin's downstairs. You shall die, human! Everyone on the floor! Blooded one! We I shall cut you, you at one! Yavin's downstairs. You shall die, human! When is end? My brother, my kin, fate has torn us asunder. From two opposing ramparts, we face death's thunder. This is no time for poetry. The forests cry, the earth wails, the world trembles in fire. Behind two hostile ramparts stand you and I. The knights will be here any minute. In my dreams at night, and in day before mine eyes, the one that never died from our blood will rise. 
Do you know what I'm talking about, Witcher? Yaven. Erelin. You know the story of Erelin, Witcher? I don't. Two centuries ago, she led us into battle. A beautiful, honorable battle. She was slain by humans. But the vision of her has never died. The white rose of Sherawed blooms still. We needn't be enemies. That's true. Help us, and no one else will be hurt. Is your head on straight, Yaven? Why would I help you? Oh, stop deceiving yourself, Geralt. You're a mutant. Humans treat you like a necessary evil at best. Fighting for them. You fight against yourself and all the elder races. You expect gratitude from them. You expect them to call the dogs off and stop throwing stones at you. They'll show no mercy and slay you the first opportunity they get. I don't think so. The Scoia'tael are freedom fighters. Do you understand what that means? This is a struggle for survival, for equal rights, for what is due to all living beings. All? Yes, all. Even humans. And that in spite of their being no more sophisticated than pigs and cows. Just think what awaits the world when they finally succeed in destroying all that is beautiful and good. Do you wish to live in that world? We are the alternative. We have no desire to destroy the human race. We just want to survive. Yaven, I've heard enough today about war, about the survival of a race. Picture this, I do not want to get involved. Ah, the famous neutrality. A little late for that. You should have stayed outside. You must choose now. Don't expect me to tag on a squirrel tail and dive headlong into battle. I'll help you the Witcher's way. I expect nothing more. Sorry, no time to celebrate. We're stuck here because of monsters. What monsters? Our mission was to find documents that would allow Vivaldi to recover his bank. Only right, wouldn't you say? Yet we find ourselves trapped. Kiki Moore's blocking our escape. We plan to flee through the sewers. I'll see what I can do. Go, White Wolf. Look out! The Kikimors are everywhere. Strange. Kikimors outside their nest. Something's not right here, Witcher. I'll clear the passage. There are more Kikimors in the passage. Perhaps we can break through. Complications. Perhaps we can break through. solved. That little foray was impressive. All in a day's work. I hope my help doesn't go to waste. I'll get the documents to Vivaldi. Maybe he can take the bank back. Good luck, Yaven. If you ever need me, ask Vivaldi. Thanks. You won't forget your assistance.
Hey, swine! I see many expensive foods here. How do you feel about Vizima's starving? Ha! Helping the slows in this city would bankrupt me in a day. If you helped a few. I'm a man of principle. If I helped the poor, I'd want to help all without exception. I have the papers you wanted. Great. I'll deliver them to our codebreakers. Return tomorrow. We'll assay our next move.
Place is this? Gambling hall. Enjoy yourself. Drink and eat. No halls. Who's worth talking to? If you want to play dice, see Costa. Liquor from the waitress. We may be raided at any moment. Friends of non-humans aren't welcome here. We don't associate with elven collaborators. We don't need players. Interesting. Unlucky at cards today. Easy come, easy go. Must Those be half the value. Just for show. Another new face? Regulars must be recommending the place. This business grows more dangerous. I don't plan on rotting in prison. Prison's not bad. You a criminal? This hall exists for decent folk. I fear military lore. Perhaps the penalty for what I'm doing is death. Bribes won't get you by. The soldiers grow more greedy and audacious. Something's afoot. I hope to be away before it occurs. Hmm. How can I help? Is this your place? I merely run it. The shareholders wish to remain anonymous. Who are they? I epitomize discretion. As do I. Ask such questions and you'll anger a huge organization. Salamandra? Get out now! Out now, or I'll call the boys! May I ask who referred you? I found this place myself. If you're any good, welcome. If you've a taste for food or drink, ask the bar wench. Who runs this place? Those questions attract the wrong attention. Suffice to know this house is owned by the entrepreneurs who disagree with the limitations of the emergency state. They wish to provide entertainment to the hard-working residents of the city. I get it. Enjoy yourself. A game of dice? Choose another table if you're not serious. Only large wages at this one. I'm in. I'll be watching your hands. Definitely. Your risk, 
children away, turn them into witches. Yes? I'm here about the notice. Do you have five cockatrice feathers? Certainly. Thank you. Now sign the receipt. Next. Say what you want. We know what happened there. You wanted to talk? Some of Foltest's recent decisions have been strange. I've long known him. Is someone falsifying his royal edicts? Perhaps, but the seal looks authentic. Who could have stolen the seal from Foltest? Someone close to the king. I hope you find the traitor. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Goodbye. Farewell, Velorad. We all know whose side you're on, elf lover. I'm here about the notice. Which one? The Gravier Bones. I'll pay if you have five. Here they are. Your gold. We all know whose side you're on, elf lover. I'm here about the notice. Which one? The Fletter Fangs. I'll pay if you have three. Here. Your gold. How dare you come here? After what you did at the bank? I'm here about the notice. Which one? The ghoul blood. Bring twelve vials of blood as proof you killed the ghouls. There you are. Your reward. We all know whose side you're on, elf lover. I'm here about the notice. Which one? The kicking more claws. I'll pay if you have ten. Ten claws. Your gold. Strengthen Vizima's defense.